so if you see uh, this is the table which is given now in which case will will the mirror form a diminished image so let us see the in the first case the object is beyond 2f that is beyond the center of curvature okay because focal length is 20 center of curvature will be 40 so it's beyond for, uh, center of curvature so beyond center of curvature if you see it is giving a diminished image so therefore the answer will be the uh, a part okay the answer will be a part now justify your answers we can justify our answer by two ways first is by drawing the ray diagram which is as shown in the figure okay so this is the ray diagram so this is beyond 2f okay uh, we have drawn two rays this is a this is a diagram directly from the ncrt so one ray is parallel to the principal axis it reflects and it passes through the focus and the other ray passes through the center of curvature and it returns back and thus the image is formed between the center of curvature and the focus and as we can see that the image is diminished also okay we can also do this uh, by the um, you know equation so 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 upon f now here if you see in the ray diagram so the object is placed here like in front of the mirror and this is the direction of the incident rays so from pole if we go right side this will be taken as positive if we go left side it will be taken as negative because right side is the direction of the incident rays so therefore uh, we'll have uh, u as minus 45 centimeter v we don't know and focus will be minus 20 centimeter so now let us do this so 1 by u 1 by minus 45 plus 1 upon v is equal to minus 1 upon 20 so 1 by v is equal to uh, minus 1 by 20 plus 1 of upon 45 so this is equal to so what's the lcm it's going to be 180 so minus 9 plus 4 so this is minus 5 upon 180 gone gone so this is 36 minus so therefore v is equal to minus 36 centimeters and as we can see that this is in between 20 and 40 because 20 is f okay so the focus is at 20 centimeter the center of curvature is at 40 centimeter and this is placed at 45 centimeter and the image formed is at 36 centimeter okay so it is between it is in between uh, focus and the center of curvature now uh, this image is diminished how so we have a magnification formula which is equal to minus v upon u this is equal to the height of image divided by the height of object so minus v was minus 36 u was minus 45 so this is equal to height of image by height of object uh, gone gone so from 9 it's going to be 4 this is 5 so therefore we have height of image is minus 0 0.8 into height of object so since it is 0 0.8 that means it is less than the height of the object therefore again it is diminished okay so the first question we can uh, just uh, write the table for it position of the object and uh, basically we have to remember this entire table okay so the first answer will be a and justifying your answer we can do it by a ray diagram and we can also do it by the equation okay both we can use next we proceed ahead list two properties of the image formed in the case of two so what is two <clears throat> 
two is this case 15 okay and 30 so the object is placed at 2f okay so the case will be here at c at c so same size and it will be real and inverted so what are the properties so we can we can tell that the nature of the image is going to be real it's going to be inverted and even we can write it is going to be the same size also again uh, if you wish we can draw the ray diagram also and we can do the sign convention also okay through so the sign convention and uh, you know the, the equation we can uh, find this uh, find out this so we have 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 upon f now u is minus 30 centimeter and f is minus 15 centimeter so let us this let us do this so 1 by minus 30 plus 1 upon v is equal to minus 1 upon 15 now why we have considered uh, both of them to be minus so this is the object now this is the direction of the incident ray so that means from the pole this direction will be positive this direction will be negative now you see uh, the object is located here which is towards the left from the pole so therefore we have taken the object distance to be negative and the focus is also towards the left from the pole so therefore the focus is also negative which is negative 15 centimeter so therefore we have this entire thing so 1 upon v becomes equal to minus 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 30 which is equal to 30 minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 by 30 so therefore v becomes equal to minus 30 centimeter okay now magnification because we have said that it is going to be the same size okay uh, achha, one more thing like it is uh, forming in front of the mirror so it is going to be real and the it is going to be inverted we will see now how so magnification is equal to uh, minus v upon u so minus of v what is v minus 30 upon u u was also minus 30 gone gone so this is minus 1 and this is height of image divided by the height of object so therefore height of image is minus height of object now according to sign convention the above is taken above from principal axis taken as positive below is taken as negative so therefore the height of image is negative uh, that's why it is inverted okay so this is also proved for the second part we proceed ahead to the third part what is the nature and the size of the image formed by the mirror c draw a diagram to justify your answer so for c what's going to happen is the focal length is 30 centimeter and the object is at 20 centimeter from the pole okay so this is a case where the object is in between pole and the focus okay so the position of the image is behind the mirror it is enlarged and of course it is virtual and erect we can draw the ray diagram i can and we can justify it so in the ray diagram also how we do it so we draw two rays one ray we draw um, which is at the pole so angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection it goes like this and second ray which passes through the center of curvature it's going to be uh, it's going to retrace its path because it's normal now these two rays they are never going to meet because they are diverging so therefore we produce it backwards and therefore the image is erect and the image is virtual now we can uh, justify this by the equation also so let us do this equation too <clears throat> so the equation is 1 upon u plus 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon f now what is u u is equal to minus 20 focus is equal to minus 30 so we have 1 minus 1 upon 20 
प्लस वन अपॉन वी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपॉन थर्टी सो देर फॉर वन अपॉन वी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई ट्वेंटी माइनस वन अपॉन थर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी थ्री माइनस टू सो दिस इज वन अपॉन सिक्सटी सो देर फोर वी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर ना मैग्निफिकेशन इज माइनस वी अपॉन यू विच इज इक्वल टू हाइट ऑफ इमेज बाय हाइट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट सो माइनस सो दिस इज सिक्सटी बाय यू यू वॉज माइनस ट्वेंटी कॉन कॉन सो दिस इज थ्री सो हाइट ऑफ इमेज बाय हाइट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट सो देर फोर द हाइट ऑफ इमेज इज थ्री टाइम्स द हाइट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट सो एज यू कैन सी इट इज एनलार्ज ओके एज इट इज स्टेटेड एंड इट इज इरेक्ट बिकॉज इट्स लाइक यू नो इट्स पॉजिटिव सो इट्स इट्स इरेक्ट and since it is formed behind the mirror so it's going to be virtual why behind the mirror is virtual because behind the mirror rays never go only in mirror when there is reflection ray goes from one medium strikes the mirror and it comes back to the same medium so it doesn't go to the second medium only okay so since ray doesn't go to the second medium and the image is formed in the second medium that is behind the uh, mirror so that means that that ray that uh, the image must be virtual because the rays are never going to meet behind they are not there only okay so uh, that is the uh, third part okay. now we proceed ahead <clears throat> the last one object is placed at a distance of 18 cm from the pole of a concave mirror and the focal length is 12 cm so focal length is 12 cm that means 2f is going to be 24 cm so the object is placed in between focus and 2f focus and center of curvature and as we can see it in the diagram also so uh, now here what's going to be the um, the nature of the image and on so because we know the table so therefore we can clearly tell that the object is in between c and f so therefore the image will be formed which beyond c it will be enlarged and it will be real and inverted so it will be enlarged and it will be real because it is formed on the same side and it's going to be inverted okay this we can see from the uh, equations also let us see so 1 by u plus 1 upon v is going to be equal to 1 upon f now here u is going to be minus 18 cm f is going to be minus 12 cm so therefore we have 1 upon minus 18 plus 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon minus 12 so therefore 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon minus 12 plus 1 upon 18 which is equal to 36 Uh, minus three plus two, minus one upon thirty-six. So therefore, v becomes minus thirty-six centimeter. Now magnification. So magnification is equal to minus v upon u, which is equal to height of image by height of object. So minus of v. So this is minus thirty-six divided by u. Now u is minus eighteen. Gone, gone. So this is two. Uh, this is equal to height of image by height of object. So therefore, the height of image is minus two times the height of object. Okay. So find the position of the image formed in this case. So the position is going to be. Um, so it's it's like it's thirty six centimeters. Now the focus is. Uh, At twelve centimeter, two f center of curvature is at twenty four centimeter. So therefore, it is in between. Uh, the object is in between f and two f, but the image is formed beyond. So this is image is formed at thirty six centimeter. So this is beyond center of curvature, on the same side as that of the object. It is enlarged, as we can see. The height is twice. Okay, it is real because same size. and inverted because if you see the height is 
negative you know that negative sign makes it inverted okay so that's it